Hi guys and welcome back to this week's vlog. It's currently day two in the Cotswolds. I didn't vlog the first few days because I was with Johnny's family. I still am and it's sometimes a little bit hard to film when there's so many people that I can't actually get in the camera. But yeah, it's been lovely. This is where we're staying. It's a lovely house that we rented. Are you hot, Dylan? Hold on. We rented this house. It's beautiful. I will... Can I sit you there? Yeah. I will put the place that we're staying down below but yeah it's been really nice it's meant to have been thunder and rainstorms the whole time but we've had blue skies and sun which is amazing so we are just heading to where are we heading to morton and marsh for a little wander around and then we have a uh, lunch booked at one of our favorite spots called the plow in kingham is that right anyway i need to put my phone into sat lab so i'll chat to you guys in a bit we've got his nervous lead on because he honestly is just wacky right now, isn't he? Hopefully, that'll stop people coming up to him. <laughs> went to the dog shop and <laughs> stocked up on treats to the pig. I just can't help myself. Every time I see a dog store, I have to go in and treat him. It just makes me happy to treat him. There's actually this thing they say, it's called Dunk. No, Dink. Double income, no kids household. And that's exactly what me and Johnny are with a dog. So all my money goes on the dog. Can you hear him? just did a really quick pit stop in dad's bed. I didn't really show you anything because I was in there for like five minutes but ended up picking up Laura in a couple of bits because I'm going to hers tomorrow. So got her a couple of bits, I got me a couple of bits and also picked up Jack some bits. Morning. So we just got up really early this morning and headed back into London and I have literally done a quick 10 minute unpack and repack because I'm heading to Lauren's now. So I think I have about an hour and a half drive which isn't too bad. Um, and we're gonna have a nice little girly weekend. Not really much is on the agenda. We'll go on a couple of dog walks. And I've got a facial booked in at her mum's clinic, which I'm so excited about. And my skin desperately needs a good old clean right now. Um, and apart from that, it's just gonna be a nice little catch up with each other before she starts moving. So wearing this, I feel like I always wear this gilet when it's spring and I'm going to the countryside. But this is a little Ganny gilet, Intimiss Me. Really lovely, like thin knit. Jumper, I have Spanx leggings on, I don't know the socks, and I'm gonna wear my Jimmy Choo boots as well. It is so warm and sunny right now, but I think it's gonna rain this afternoon, which is a bit gutting. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pack up and head off. I'll show you what I picked up in Dalesford. I had a couple of people messaging me on Instagram already saying, what did you get from Dalesford? But apart from getting Lauren some bits, which I'll show you at her house, I literally only got the dog toys. <laughs> I got him so many toys on this trip, so I'm going to show you quickly. That's such a crazy dog mum, it's actually a joke. You want to see? Where? <laughs> so I got this across like Dalesford and then also just a pet shop. I got him, watch out. Um, from Dalesford, I got him this gorgeous little bandana. How cute is that? To go around his neck. Wait, let me put it on you. Look. Oh, look Jenny. Okay, anyway, got him a bandana. He's far too excited for what is in here. Um, this we nicked off Johnny's mum's dog and Johnny's brother's dog because Biggie loved it. So you can have that. And then this, which you can like put treats in and freeze. That would be good for you in the summer. Look. And then this is a lick mat. You put stuff on them and then the dogs get like enrichment from it and it uses their brain power. For him, a huge big antler. I think this is what he's sniffing the bag for. I got him this one from Dalesford, which isn't actually that good because he's already ripped off the ear and this turquoise bit, like the dye comes off and stains everywhere. You want your antler? Hello. Look at this gorgeous flower. Welcome to my desk. <laughs> no, it's so aesthetic. It's like, like an interview. It's so nice. Got here like half an hour ago. Just been having a little catch up. And then what are we going to do? The stage dry. Should we head out for a little? Yeah, I think we should go for a walk. Yeah. That'd be nice. Sure. Take it easy. Dalesford Hall. We love Dalesford, don't we? Yeah. So I thought so I'd do good. a I little. I know. 
I actually will miss that. Maybe I'll... Your favourite? Oh, that is literally the best. Yeah. So it started off with that, and then I kind of wandered around, and I was like, oh, she'll like that, she'll like that, she'll like that. Yes. <laughs> is this recording? Yeah. yeah. These are for Jack. Oh, I don't understand. So cute. Beer. Ooh. My God, that's such nice packaging. It's cute, isn't it? For the sparkling tea, which is... That nice. sounds unbelievable. Remember I got the Fortnum one? Yes. It's like that. So good. Wait, so how do you drink this? Just it, nice you just put it in like a champagne glass and it's just like I but love it's not that. meant to be That is so good for like midweek. Yeah, and it's not meant to be a copy of champagne, it's just meant to be like a nice Oh my god, I'm so, so excited to try that. Okay, I got my coffee for the morning. Copenhagen okay. company. Oh my god. Okay, these <laughs> Oh the best. <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> these the first perfect combo. I thought you'd like this little. Oh yeah, I thought you'd like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that smells like hell. Thank so. you. You're welcome. This because I just thought you're bougie as hell, and that's. Oh be my god, that's so good. <laughs> we've come out for a little walk. It is raining, but we've protected. Yeah, we've got hats. The on, hair with a hat. Boots on, boots We're going to end up at a pub for lunch. Yeah, soaking wet. I'm ravenous. <laughs> <laughs> we've still it's got lovely. like a good. 35 minutes to go. <laughs> we'll be fine. And we'll that be hill fine. that you hate. I know. Oh, God. There's one <laughs> hill. Lauren, like, storms up it, and I'm like... <gasps> <gasps> it is quite steep. <laughs> it is steep, and it's bloody long. It's a like long hill. We're at the pub. We yeah. made it. And the sun is out. We didn't actually get that wet. Yeah, no, the sun is out fine. here. And then you go around here and it's like... <laughs> right. And behind you oh, is really Oh, it nice. looks like blue skies on camera. Oh, really? Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's, no, it's it is black. And then over there, gorgeous. So we've got some food, crispy squid, chunky chips, halloumi, chicken. chicken. We refueled, had some food, had and some drinks. Out. And now it's literally turned into the most gorgeous like summer afternoon. It literally feels like we've had every single season. But yeah, doesn't it? Summer, it one walk. winter. When we were like on the way, I don't know if I vlogged this part, but it was like thunder, lightning, yeah, and, like so dark. And now it's literally stunning. Summer. So we're just walking back to Lauren's. I have to um, show you guys these flowers. Lauren put them all together, and they're faux, which honestly just blows my mind. They're on these like what are they called? Oasis. The phone? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's called Oasis. So she just like makes these arrangements. Like, isn't that stunning? <laughs> Lauren's just cooked up an absolute storm. And Jack's here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pesto pasta. Arancini. Special mozzarella. What's mm -hmm. the name for that salad? Caprizi. 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 And then garlic bread. Yum. Yes. Thank you. Good morning, guys. So. We had a lovely bright early start. Just got ready and we're gonna head out to town and we're gonna grab a bit of brunch, have a little wander around, and then I've got a facial booked in. I think I've told you all this, but I've got a facial booked in at Lauren's mum's clinic, which honestly I'm so excited for. Like my skin is like begging me for a facial right now. So I've got that booked in and then that's kind of it. Just gonna have a nice chill day. Also, Lauren's just told me that she's gonna drive. So my first time ever in her car with her driving. Oh, jacket though. It is it's cute, so isn't it? Nice. I do like it. If it didn't have that like cinched in waist, it no. just wouldn't be the same. I love that little it's detail. So nice. Um, and then yeah, just a little black jumper on today as well. So that's my outfit. Just in the Ivy. I of course have eggs Benedict. I get this every single time. And a peach iced tea. Hello guys, we are back home. Lauren's over here. Hello. We've had the most lovely it's day. Like a therapy session. I know. We're just How all the good? candles lit, all the zen. Um, went for brunch and then I went and had that facial, which you would have just seen, which honestly was an absolute dream. My skin feels so nice. Obviously, I've had a little bit of breakout on my chin, like all hormonal. Um, but it just feels really lovely and like clean and cleansed and also sculpted, sculpted yeah. Because she did it's like lymphatic drainage. Yeah. Oh, and like the bottom half of my face, and I feel like it just looks so snatched, like under here. I just think I look like tighter. Do you know what I mean? Can you guys see? 
And you see how my chin's going to a nice little point. Also, I'll leave all the information if you guys are in Kent. Is it Tom Tombridge Wells? Tombridge Wells? Tombridge Wells, yeah. Um, definitely go and check her out. I will leave all that information down below. Nothing else really happening, right? We're going to just Yeah, chill we're just going to chill. It's raining. It's crazy. Yeah. Watch a film. Light the candles. Yeah. Nice and chill. Pizza. Pizza. And then I've got an early start tomorrow. I'm going to head back to Winch. No, not Winch. That's funny. I know. I'm going to head back to London fairly early. Oh, look. <laughs> Sorry, it's not that later. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna head back fairly early and miss the traffic and crack on with life back home. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd check in. <laughs> Just start off by saying if I look a little bit swollen, I've had a couple of tears yesterday because Biggie has an operation this morning and I'm an anxious dog mum so I had a bit of a cry last night before bed <laughs> and whenever I cry it shows on my eyes real clearly so just start off by saying that but yeah we're on the way um, to take Biggie to get his castration and I'm feeling like I'm feeling really guilty and it's not about the castration like I think that's the best thing for him it's just about how scared he's going to be initially yeah because we're gonna have to go in and because he's so anxious they're gonna do a really quick i think this is correct a really quick sedation or a, yeah sedation injection in his arm so spice. just to like right. just to get him calm enough to be able to put in like the whole general anesthetic and do the tests and things on him before whatever whatever but i'm just trying to think about like the long-term picture because i think this is going to be so good for him don't you Exactly. It just takes away that testosterone and just makes him that bit calmer. Also, when we went to the Cotswolds last week, his humping was ridiculous, wasn't it? But I don't think I've updated you guys on this. I think I've touched on it before, but I really... Do we have time to kill? Yeah. yeah. I We really did not get on with our last vet. We, we found them when we first moved to London. They were like really close to our house and went there for purely convenience and just over time realised how crap they were and they're a franchise so they definitely had like money goals to hit and like it just felt like there was literally zero care for the dog um there's a few incidences i can tell you about but i probably shouldn't go into it too much i mean the main thing for me that started off was when they kept misdiagnosing bean saying he's got an ear infection he's got an ear infection for like a six month period there's actually vlogs of me taking him to the vet saying i just don't think it's an ear infection but they keep saying it's an ear infection <coughs> so they like medded him up for like six months on ear medicine when the baby was dying of a brain tumor and like nobody thought to like get him checked out more seriously after like six months of this and the reason he ended up getting checked and diagnosed was because there was a lady doing like a one day clinic thing there i think they were short on staff so they had this other vet come in um and johnny took was it you that took him that time no we took him that time and we said look he's not got an ear infection like this is persisting she took us out of the vets away from the vets to like see him outside walking because he couldn't stand and she said to us, this is not an ear infection. I'm referring you right now to the, like, what was it, the HMR? I don't know, it was like a royal... The royal whatever hospital. Yeah. Um, because he's not got an ear infection. There's something more serious going on. So within, like, three days, we'd got him into the hospital, referred, and then he was diagnosed with a brain tumour. And I just think, if that lady wasn't there that day, yeah. would they have kept diagnosing him ear infection medicine until he collapsed and died? Like, oh, there was a guy in the vets that when Bean was much younger... We were waiting for him to be seen and they came out, they called Bean's name. Bean was like lying on the floor, like chilling. And I gave him, he like wanted the lead, so I gave him the lead. And rather than giving Bean even like four seconds to stand up and walk, he just dragged him along the floor by the lead. And I was like, that is actually not acceptable. So, I mean, there's lots of little situations like that. Anyway, point being, I was looking for a new vet and I found this really amazing place called Pickles on, is it Fulham Road? Yeah and they just seem so amazing. We had him in for a consultation. They were so good with him. By the way, our dog is not like in a vet. like he wouldn't run up to someone and try and like attack them. He's just nervous and like really unsure of people, but they were so able to like deal with that. So didn't we just feel so confident after but that? If you ever see us out, don't come up and pet me. <laughs> don't don't run up and pet the dog because if you come at him, yeah, he'll he'll get stressed. But he's no. gonna eat you. You can come up and say hi, but just don't bend down and put your hand Socially down to distanced. the dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but how confident did we feel after that appointment? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> okay, he just he just had his. Like first sedation jab, and he was so good. That's what you mean, first. Because then, more than one? no, now he goes oh. after, once he's asleep, they're going to do the general anaesthetic. They said you got to sit with him for 10 minutes, and you'll probably be asleep when they come. I reckon it'll be under six. Good boy. 
Do you want to place a bet? No. I almost cried, but... I'll I take under six, you take over six, whoever loses pays. Is that a bed? You're going to have a lovely sleep. Oh, he's so sleepy already. That's what happens to me. Oh my... Biggie's home now. Hey. You're a crocodile friend. You can be your pal, you don't need to eat him. We got him this to say well done. <laughs> um, yeah, so we found this amazing vet, which... I feel, like I feel like I'm normally a shout at you guys, um, which is amazing and it makes such a difference when you have a bad vet to go from a good bad vet to a good vet because you just see the difference like so clearly. Anyway, they're amazing, but we've also found a house to move to, so we're actually leaving London um, in July. We found out last week, but I hadn't signed the contracts and things until when do we sign that? A couple of days ago. Yeah, which means it's final. It means it's final, right? Yeah, and that is convinced me to move to a house which we've never seen before. <laughs> we have seen it. We've just, we've we seen, haven't seen it. We've seen this, uh, it's a plot of four and we've seen one of them. <laughs> We're moving to another one on the plot, but it's identical. Um, it's actually the biggest plot as well. It's got a big garden. I told you, have I told you this? I think I've told you about it. Anyway, so yeah, we're leaving London in a couple of months, which is crazy. I'm excited. I feel really excited to leave London. Do you? No. Do you actually not? No, but there was zero houses that came up. In London. That weren't absolutely stupid money who I don't know who's paying that sort of money for a house. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. And we were kind of at crunch time, weren't we? This couldn't yeah. have literally come at a better time. That's a month earlier than we thought it would Yeah, be. so we don't Which really... Which I don't, I kind of wanted summer here, but whatever. Oh, we'll have summer there. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. We'll have summer summer here. Yeah. Um, well, we won't because the house will be absolutely chaos and we'll be busy doing stuff. Well, yeah, so shit, I'm going to start packing stuff. from the 1st of June. Basically, our spare room has a bed in it that is like 15 years old. Jenny really doesn't want to get rid of it, but we're getting rid of it. It's had less finally. than five people sleep in it. Does it matter? He had, he had that bed. bed when he lived in his house, his old house with his ex-girlfriend. Like, that's how old it is. Like, we don't need to keep that bed. Well, she never slept in it. It's not it about that. Bed. It's just so old. Like, I've been with you for seven years. It's, it's just a bed frame. The mattress was new. No, the bed's ugly. Anyway, and the bed's broken. So the point is, um, it's an ottoman. I need to go through all my summer clothes underneath there, do a huge clear out, and then I'm going to get a charity collection to come and get that bed. And then that spare room will just be a room to put all our boxes in when we pack. Don't want anything left here. So like my whole wardrobe room is going to have to come down. Um, I might sell a few things over on Instagram. Like I'm thinking I'm going to have to sell my pink sofa, which literally pains my heart. Get it in the bin. I love it so much. <laughs> but I just don't see how it's going to fit anywhere in and that. You've never sat on it in the entirety Wait. of your life. Yeah, I just film on that. It's a prop. No, I sit and film on it. No, it's so stupid I do. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, and I thought the house was like, it's pretty similar to this, but I thought it was a bit smaller. But we got the floor plans up yesterday. It's actually bigger than this house. <laughs> Which gives me a bit of anxiety because this house feels huge sometimes. Like, when, although we won't be so far apart when we're working. Yeah, that's why when we go view houses, they're like, this is for two people. <laughs> yeah, they're always like, is it just you two? We're like, yeah. But it's because I've said this so many times, because we both work from home. So we need two offices. Well, I might not have an office now, but minimum, let's just say two offices, so two bedrooms, our bedroom, a spare bedroom, so we're already like minimum four beds. And this place has zero cupboards, uh, wardrobes. wardrobes. Yeah, same as here. There is no wardrobes built in, which honestly, if this you has rent. A downstairs, downstairs. Yeah, yeah, we don't use it. So <laughs> I use it. it's, it's a bit of a hassle having to, and I will be taking charge of the wardrobes in this house because you guys who have watched me for a while, you'll probably remember the monstrosity I'm taking that with me. of a wardrobe that Johnny has in our bedroom. It is, no, it's not. It absolutely is. It is repulsive. It looks so bad. It's, it's a corner wardrobe but efficiency not in a corner it's not, not aesthetics efficiency. he's also put it under the fire trap from my office yeah, in the top was, floor mistake, so that. if there's ever a fire god forbid in the top floor i actually can't get out because maybe johnny's I'll, maybe blocked I'll do it on the fire exit yeah you just go up through a vlux you know oh, so silly anyway um so yeah, we're going to start packing soon so that will be the basis of the vlogs as of next month which i love a house move i think this will probably be in my life like my I want to say like 11th or 12th house move. That's crazy, yeah. Isn't it? I mean, we've been here three years, that's a long time. Well, two and a half. And you know, I have realised 
just looking back on my life, I definitely have this like two year itch. I need to Google it a bit more and see if it's like a thing. But every two years of being in a place, I get really antsy and I'm like, I need to move. I need to be, like have a fresh energy in my life. Were you keen on it until we started having a look at what was, what yeah. was out there? And then it was like, oh, and that's what this house actually, I love this house. we need to stay here a little bit longer. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, and also if we like this next house, it could work out that I could buy it if we like it, which I think would actually work out really nicely because then we'd have a roots. So I, I'll just tell you, we're moving back to Winchester. Well, don't tell them that. Why? I don't know why it feels weird to say it, but like, yeah, we're moving back to Winch, which I'm actually- we're not, we, we will not buy in Winchester. We I won't. Know. We won't. Or we'll look, look at Surrey, but it gives us a couple years anyway, I'm knowing we've got a nice house to live in before we Cotswolds. start looking at buying. Right and I'm so Norton. excited to be back to see Liv and like play with little Arthur and just go for coffees and like I just feel like my life will just feel a lot nicer. Which is funny because I was like, get me out of Winchester. Like I literally could not stand That's why it. We will not buy Winchester. Yeah, but <laughs> I've spoken to like Liv and Lauren and my mum and I'm like, I'm kind of nervous about moving back. And they're like, no, listen, you were like two and a half years younger. All you had in your head was, I want to be in London. I want to be in London. Like life was so different back then. Now that I've done London, I'm like, yeah. It's actually not that fun. It's the restaurants. We don't we restaurant. go out that often though. We still yeah, go to the, the same only, like the four only, restaurants. Like, the only good restaurant in Winchester is the Ivy. Yeah. You know what we never did? Bam, bam. We never went to that tapas in Oldsford. And we lived there for like four years and I always wanted to go to it. I'm not a tapas person. Unless I'm in Bath Hmm. That's annoying as not being next to the airport. Close. But anyway, yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's our news. We're moving. So excited. And Biggie's gonna be a country boy, like being thrived in the countryside. Then he moved to London and he was like, <laughs> Don't really it's just what parcel and the vat, like, what's it called? Is it vat? He had to pay 93 pounds before they could actually deliver it. Also, the last bit of news I have to tell you guys is, um, Johnny crashed my car this morning. <laughs> Put it into a parked car and like, I, it was like, like all along the other car. And we were like, oh my God. So I was like, okay, paper and pen. So I got paper out for him to write his details on the other car. And then we didn't have a pen. So we we're sitting there like, oh shit, what do we do? And then the police drove past. I was like, oh my God, how amazing is that timing? So they came and helped and gave us a pen. And then we put a note on the dashboard, but it's still there. And I've been back and forth past it a couple of times. So yeah, it's been an eventful week, I'll say that. And it's only Tuesday. What is it? Know, Glasses. <laughs> Worth the 100 pound fee. Probably not, I think they're around 400 quid before. But I like the colour of the lenses. Were you drunk when you ordered them? Yeah. I didn't remember ordering them. They look exactly the same as every other pair of glasses you've ever worn. 700 pairs of sunglasses, I have around five. Yeah, they look cool. How cool is the lens colour? That's not a bit me. That's like what I used to wear. I look, I look like Kevin Hart now. <laughs> no, you look like you've got... Um, like blind people glasses because they're so thick on the side. <laughs> i just show you quickly what I got from Lancaster and then we can say to you. You love Lancaster. I don't know what Lancaster is. It's the orange after sun you use. Oh, okay. My mum used Lancaster my whole life. Swimmer in my <gasps> Look at that! Oh, cute! That's not going to fit me. Is that size two? That's big, isn't it? Nicole, wear that. Yeah, your sister would Give that to my sister. How cute is that? That's a Greece. <laughs> in summer. To a lovely little Greek island where there's only one flight in and out per week. And they're all going to go, are you going to get a ring? Nope. <laughs> Maybe she already has a ring, guys. You don't ever know these things. <laughs> Maybe she does. What is that? Uh, the the light-up mirror. How did you make that up? Oh my god, that is cool. Like one month tan prolonger, this is like the best thing. That's what you use, isn't it? The tan prolonger. Yeah. Um, After yeah. I also have the protective water, SPF 30. I have just for your face 30. You might want that because I've got to use 50 block on my face. And then also the body milk in 30. Oh my god, that's so good. Does that not uh, transport you to being drunk in a hotel room? What? After like, <laughs> after, what? you know, after when you've been out sunbathing anything and then you go for a shower and we're always like so lit. And then That's we're like- sweating in the sun. Oh, delicious. Thank you very much, Lancaster. That was very kind. Um, okay, anyway, if I could just chewed your ears off for 
17 minutes. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but we're in Dalesford, getting a little pit stop. We had done a little shoot and we bought... Are you tired? It's just me. You. <laughs> it's just me. I just had a coffee. So, so tired. So I got a little orange juice and some toast. And then if you ever are in Dalesford, pick up the Seville marmalade. It's literally the best thing in the world. So I picked that up. And we eat this and enjoy it. And then we're going home to do house admin. Hey guys, this is, <laughs> this is the job we're looking at. This is all my summer stuff underneath the spare room bed. So Isabella is gonna help me <laughs> go through. Um, I'm not going on holiday until after I've moved. So we can literally put yeah. everything away just in uh, vacuum bags. And then on the other end, so when I'm in the other house is when I can like unpack and get holiday stuff. So it's nice, we can like fully just get rid of everything under mm -hmm. here. And then this bed, I'm gonna get the charity guys to come get it because it's annoying. And then this room will be, she's here. <laughs> this room <laughs> will be my full on like packing room. So all the boxes will just stay in here for the next few months. Mm -hmm. And then it means the rest of the house doesn't look an absolute tip whilst we're packing. So are you ready? Yeah. I'm so glad you're here. I've been putting this off for literally. I will never do this alone. It's a big job, isn't it? <laughs> so the under the bed is completely cleared out. The bed is so broken. This is the one I want to get rid of. Would a charity even take that if it's that broken? Okay. It's all like the middle's all come off. Hmm. Can we just skip it? Um. So yeah, that is all cleared out. This is a pile to try on and go through. And then we have how many bags to sell? Worth something like four. Uh, two there and two here which i'm gonna put on a vintage account um i'm gonna put i'm gonna make a vintage account and isabella's gonna do all of that for me <laughs> thank you <laughs> so um i'll put on the screen it, what my account is if it's live by the time this goes up otherwise i'll share it off on instagram but yeah i think like we did a good a good job yeah, i don't know if you can like quite grasp the size of this pile though <laughs> that uh, is sort of thing that i need to <laughs> try everything on be strict about that because I do not need to keep all that. Right, guys, we've moved up to the office because the bedroom was too hot and there's just not enough room. So this is the pile of keep, which is too much stuff. So I'm going to really limit all that down. So I'm going to try everything on. It's also really good for me to have like Isabella here to be like, don't keep that, do keep that. Because I'm very bad at being like, oh, but I'll probably wear that one day. I'll just keep it. <laughs> Where you're like, good. You're like, no, no, I'll get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go through and try on everything here. And then Isabella's going to go through some of my drawers. And we're going to make a little giveaway box as well. Because yeah. there'll definitely be like uh, multiples of beauty products and stuff. And yeah, I feel like we've made a good dent though. Guys, you might remember this because I... Can you see me? I think you can. I used it for... Well, I bought it for like a wedding dress reel last year um, and I never really had a chance to wear it, but I absolutely love it. It's just so pretty. It's got little cutouts, but I have put on a little bit of weight this last year and it is, it is a little bit hard to breathe in. <laughs> but I just don't want to get rid of it because I also, for some reason, didn't ever think about wearing this like on holiday. Let me put you down a bit. But I think on holiday with like tan sandals, that looks so cute. I don't know, I just feel like I can't get rid of it. It's from ASOS by the way, but I am kind of bulging out the side. Like there. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but I got this from Cult Gaia. I think last year or the year before. It's a gorgeous little like knitted dress. Two piece like dress. Um which I'm gonna keep. Because I didn't think it would fit, but it does fit and it's actually Sweet. Okay. Guys, this is a Zara dress from last summer. Mm. So last summer, my boobs were probably like <laughs> three cups and they're like two cup sizes smaller. And they fit in this little bit. But now, well, I am about to come on my period, so they're even bigger than they would normally be. But I'm getting this like under boob, which I think the dress is meant to have, which is why you've got this little bit here. But I just can't work out if, <laughs> if I feel comfortable with under boob. Because my rule is if you have your arms out, you have your legs mm. and your stomach and your boobs mm. covered and vice versa. You can, have, you can choose one, right? But here I have chest, arms and boob. So I don't know if it's just a bit naked. But I can hear my mother screaming at me. Stop <laughs> acting like such an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> um, it is really nice though. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it looks acceptable? I think I'll keep it for the minute. Okay, not with this top, obviously. I'm just putting this top on. So I can show you the skirt, but I bought this from Marge last year and I wore it with like a linen shirt, like loosely tucked in because it's so short. It's a skirt, but it's so short that it's just not cute. Like if I was, I mean, I love it, but if I was comfortable, I'd wear it like up high waisted like this, but look at that. 
can't go out in that. <laughs> it looks so bad. And then to get the desired length, I have to wear it like on my hips, which obviously is not cute. So I really don't want to part with it, but I just don't see how it's going to work. Do you think it'll work for a long sleeve, like a long shirt, really tucked in loose? Try I got one. one. Your, um... Yeah. Hey, this is it with the shirt. I just thought if I made the shirt really loose and like it would look, it wouldn't look like it's low waisted, but it just looks. This just this is not a vibe. It would look cute if there was a bit more length, and I could wear it up here. But yeah, this is gonna have to get sold, which is so sad because I freaking love it. But yeah. Anyway. Okay, that's a shame. I feel like if any of you have watched me or followed me for like six years, like right at the start, you might recognize this. It's a really cute little piece. I have had this for so long, but I just think now that I've put on that bit of weight and I've got boobs and things, it's like hiking it up. And I think these shorts are just really short. I think I've got to get rid of it, which is sad. I've loved this for so many years. Okay, so from everything you saw under the bed and all those clothes, this and this, is what I've managed to get it down to and everything else is going to get sold or go to charity so I'm feeling very well done to me um, I also have all the stuff on the sofa but this is like summer stuff that I'm going to probably wear in the next two weeks, uh, eight weeks um, so just like shorts and little skirts and stuff like stuff around the house and if it actually does get really hot here but I think I did pretty good good morning, I haven't spoke to you guys in a couple days but it's currently saturday and really not much is going on this week or today but i've had a couple boxes uh, a couple of parcels come in i've done a skims order i've done a little zara order and a little mango order so i thought i could go through them with you today um, i also did a sephora order but maybe i'll save that for next week and then we can try out some of the makeup together um but yeah biggie's doing good he's pretty much back to normal he's got this like medicine that just makes him sleepy in the morning so i think that's good he gets a really good sleep in the day and then um, by lunchtime he's pretty much back to himself and he doesn't seem in pain he just seems a little bit he seems like confused like he keeps running from bed he's got like what one two three beds in his kitchen and lounge and he like runs from bed to bed to bed he doesn't like to be sat like on the hard floor um, and I think it might be because it just feels different for him I don't know but Johnny took him into the vets yesterday for a like check up and they said they're really happy with his with like how it's looking and yeah so that was pretty easy much smoother than we both thought the whole thing would go so feeling happy there apart from that there isn't a huge amount going on we're going to probably go out for lunch or dinner today or tomorrow we're not sure um which day yet and then we can't really take biggie out because he can only do like a 10 minute so we're going to loop around the local area tonight um but yeah that is really all my updates. Getting that um, spare room done yesterday, or when was that? Was it yesterday? Day before, it was honestly, it feels like the biggest weight has been lifted. That is like one area of my life that I have like fully neglected for like four years. I've just had summer stuff piling up, piling up, piling up. And I have tried to do like a clear out of it before. Um, obviously, I only go on holiday like once or twice a year. Can I put you there? Yeah. So whenever I had like tried to clear it out before, it's kind of that, that way we're like, oh my God, I forgot about this. Or, oh my God, I forgot about that. Like maybe I'll wear that this year. And I was just awful at getting rid of stuff. So I got rid of so much and I only have two vacuum pack bags of summer clothes left, which feels so nice. So I'll link my vintage down below. There's actually a few things she's listed and I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. I actually want to keep that. <laughs> so we've made a rule that once she's finished listing everything, if there's things I want to keep maximum, I can keep three things and then everything else that I've put in the sale pile is going away um I've already kept one thing which I did put for sale and then I was like actually I just can't get rid of it it's so cute so I have two more items I'm allowed to keep and then that's it but yeah it's really handy that she's doing it all so like I say I'll pop down below and if you want to shop anything head over there okay, so like I said I did a very big skims order um most of it is underwear and then I've got a couple like clothing pieces as well. So I thought we could go through it together and try everything on. The first thing I've already tried on actually is these grey joggers. They feel so nice. Like they're so soft and just like really nice quality lightweight joggers. But they're just, I don't know if they're flattering on me. I got them in a size extra small and I think I actually could have gone for an extra, extra small. Um, and I'm like a usual UK six on the bottoms. But there is quite a lot of leg length. 
No, that is definitely like the desired look for some people, like a lot of material at the bottom. But I'm not that kind of person. I like my job is to be slightly oversized but still fitted. So it's fine if I just roll them. But I just think it, they're not doing anything for me. I think I look really shapeless. Like, not that joggers give you shape, but there's something about these that just make me look so up and down. <laughs> like, I don't know, is it just me? But saying that, they're really nice. I don't want them to be too small. And like I say, I just rolled that waist, uh, sorry, the cuff. And I think they're actually, they're cute, but shapeless. <laughs> they picked up a few bras. This is the plunge bra. It's so lovely, beautiful, soft, like seamless material. Um, I've definitely had like a growth spurt, which is so weird at, um, in the boob department. Not complaining, but I do feel like I need a little bit more support <laughs> in the boob area now. I feel like I literally just developed my boobs at age 26. I went for this one in a size small. I think it's really nice fits gorgeous and then I got this little cotton t-shirt I already have this in the grey so I know I'm gonna love it so here's it on this is in the colour bone these are just the most gorgeous soft really flattering like stretchy cotton um tops the grey one I have I wear without a bra and because there's elastic in it, it like it shapes you but this one I put on yesterday without a bra and you can definitely see nipples through it so you definitely need a bra but I feel like this little seamless bra is perfect um, so yeah, I got that. This is the same like cotton material of the top I just showed you, but it's in a t-shirt style. Normally I would go for a small on the sleeve if, if it's a, a short sleeve, like fitted piece. Um, but Skims just has such good stretch in it. So I didn't think I'd need a small. And I think I've actually made the right decision there because it's not like digging in. This is the soft ribbed tank. I have this in a few different colors now. I actually sleep in these a lot. They are so comfortable. Um, again, I'm wearing a bra, but you don't need to wear a bra with these. Like, I don't know how they do it, but they shape you. And it's like a little tank top. You wouldn't think this would give you any kind of shape, but it does. Um, and it has like elastic in it, so it's slight support. Then I bought this matching hoodie to the joggers because I thought that would be quite a nice, just like all in one set. It's so soft. It's the same material as the bottoms. I just don't know if the bottoms are just not flattering. I'm gonna actually turn you around and show you in the mirror. First of all, these have no pockets as well, which is really weird. But do you see what I mean? I just, I feel shapeless. I don't know. I feel like if you had a big bum or like hips, it would like really fill these out and they'd look nice. But because I don't really, I just feel very up and down. <laughs> Even with the hoodie on, I feel like it's just, I don't know. But saying that, I am going to keep them because this is such a good, easy throw on tracksuit, comfortable Sundays. And then same as this nude one that I had on, I got it in black. Really, really nice bra. So just like your very comfortable, really, really soft, seamless, giving me a bit of shape. Obviously not like the most supportive, but supportive enough. And I also got the black and the long sleeve cotton t-shirt. So now I have the white, what well, the bone one. I have the grey one and I have this black one. Literally it's sweltering hot up here. <laughs> I'm so hot. Um, okay, this is the black one on, exactly the same. Just again, really nice, really flattering. Just a really good basic top. I think this one I will get so much wear out of because I'll wear this with like blazers and like daily wear, whereas the grey one is more kind of just like a lounge wear piece. But yeah, I think this is very nice. And I also have the Adenola ones, which are also amazing because I know you guys are gonna ask which I prefer. I would say they're completely different. The Adenola ones are thicker and I feel like they're more of like daily wear tops and like styling up with outfits whereas these feel more like a loungewear top and they're much thinner but both of them really good quality, really good stretch. Um, it's just Adenola feel a bit more like, maybe not even durable, just more of like, just more of a daily wear piece of clothing whereas these just feel like the kind of things you want to put on at home to be comfortable. So the rest of it is knickers, so <laughs> I'm not going to try them on for you. But they do like a, I think it's like, I don't mean don't quote me, but around about like it's like three, no it's like five for 30 pounds or something like that. So I picked up like three of the different deals. Maybe it was in here. No. Um, okay, so I already have these in the grey and I had to get them in the black because honestly, these are the comfiest things you will ever wear. So they're like the most big granny panties ever, but they are so stretchy. They're like really soft cotton. Um, so I have the gray ones with the gray top. I also now have the black ones with the black top I'm wearing. 
cute little pajama set as well. And I also picked them up in the bones, so I have the top and these as well in this color. And all of this is thongs that were in part of like the packs. So I need to remember what I got. I picked up the seamless thong in black. I already own this, but I had to get more because like I say, comfiest thing ever. So really, I mean, really stretchy, really soft, seamless thong. So I got two of the black. I also got that in the nude. So thong, very comfortable in the nude color. I get the color clay, by the way, which is the closest I would say, because they do loads of different nudes, of course, but the color clay is the closest to like my nude. Um, and I get them in a size extra small. I'll put all that down below. And I got this style, which I haven't tried before, but these are just, again, like really comfy. Um, spaghetti sides, full bum. Actually, that might be cheeky. And then just like a classic pant, really. So I got three, again, of the nudes in the clay and then I also got three in the black. So, so it's a few hours later. It should be sat on this sofa all day after I spoke to you guys and filmed the little skims haul which by the way I'm wearing the joggies they're just so unflattering but I've already worn them now so I can't exchange them for a size down. But I will say they're very comfortable but can you see how they're just like bunching? Anyway um yeah we didn't really have any plans today but I definitely did plan to just be sat on the sofa all day. It might be a mix or it might be just the wine. I am currently on my period and I've had a glass of wine yesterday and I feel like I just feel really sad today. There's no like huge reason that I should be sad. But I just, I just feel like down. Yeah, it's quite interesting because if it isn't, I mean it's hard to tell if it is my period or if it's the wine, but if it is wine, that's just so interesting to see that it actually really, really does affect me. And I know I kind of touched on my reasons as to why I really cut back on alcohol. I think this is my first drink in probably about six weeks. Um, or maybe like five weeks. But um, it's just really interesting to see that if this is how I felt most of the time when I would drink before, like I must have spent a lot of time just feeling crap, <laughs> which is so sad. Um, but anyway, I've been binge watching Selling Sunset. If you guys haven't watched that on Netflix, oh my God, it is so good. It's like one of my favorite reality shows of all time. Like the outfits, the drama, the houses, like it's just so, so good. So um, yeah, I've been sat watching that all day. And Johnny is outside cleaning off the garden furniture because he wants to put the cushions out because I think the rain has pretty much dried up now. Um, so yeah, that's really been it. And also, oops, my pig is here. He's also been a bit um, down and sad and very sleepy. I think, I don't know, I was wondering, is it normal that he's so sleepy? My mom said that shh, dogs take a good like four days or so to like really sleep off all that. To sleep off the, <laughs> the anesthetic. So yeah, we've just had a very calm, cuddly day. And that's kind of been all. Um, I do have some Zara and Mango parcels, but I feel like I should save them for Wednesday's video. Um, because I haven't really been buying that much recently, which is why I've not really been doing any styling videos for you guys um, on Wednesdays. Um, but the weather is now really nice, and I have done a few orders. So I feel like maybe I'll do a little styling video for you guys on Wednesday, a little new in and catch up over on that side of life. I want to update you on life, but there's just nothing to tell you. Moving house, getting started there. Um, Johnny's sorting out the car crash. <laughs> the, we've been in contact with the person who, who did it, the car that he hit, so that's getting sorted. Um, yeah, I just feel like it was a bit of... I don't want to be negative, but I just feel like this has been such a shitty week. There's also been a few other things that have been happening. And it's just, it's just the way life goes sometimes, right? Like, I feel like it all just hits you at once and then it gets better. So hopefully next week will be a much nicer week. Um, I had to cancel my hair appointment on Monday as well, which was so uncomfortable about. But I double booked myself, so I have had to cancel my hair um, and reschedule that to the 1st of June. So another few weeks with these wrap tails in <laughs> and then we can go back to my beads um but yeah i feel like right now what i'm experiencing minus the bad luck this week but i feel like we're in the calm before the storm and i feel like the storm is going to start from like a few days away with packing and just chaos and um, we've also got a trip to scotland um like mid-june for about four or five days so that kind of takes a week out of our packing schedule so yeah, um, I think we've got a very busy few weeks coming up, which I'm excited about. I'm excited to have fresh things to focus on and things to look forward to. And yeah, but anyway, do you know what? I think I'm just feeling a bit sorry for myself. I'm cramping. 
and I just feel a bit bleh. But it's okay. I'm letting myself have these kind of days. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I will leave you there. So I'm still in the lounge, but outfit change. I'm not going to show you the whole Zara order that I did. Not that it's many pieces at all, but I did get these little pajamas, which I thought were going to be cute, but actually they're the most unflattering <laughs> things I have ever seen. I got them in a size medium because I wasn't sure on the fit of them. I haven't actually ordered pajamas from Zara before. And I wanted them to be oversized and there's nothing worse than pajamas that are too small. However, I would say go true to size in Zara pajamas because these are absolutely massive. These are the trousers unrolled. <laughs> I'm screaming. I came downstairs in these last night and Johnny was like, what the F are you wearing? Um, and I tried to style them out, but yeah, they're just not cute. But they would be cute if they fit. So go for your true size. Like really, really light cotton and a baby blue stripe. It's only like five o'clock here, but I'm absolutely sweltering, this house is so hot, so these are the perfect thing to wear. Johnny is out there doing the garden furniture so he can get the cushions out for the first time this year. Oh, it looks good, hun. Nice and clean, he's hiding, he doesn't want to be on camera. This will be our last summer in this garden. How sad. So we'll get used to it for another couple of weeks and then we'll have to pack it up. I'm going to end the vlog here. Because it's actually ended up being quite long, I completely forgot that we had some of last week's footage in this vlog as well. So I think it's already on like 45 minutes. I feel like I've not been on here in ages, so it's nice to be back and have a good old catch up with you. But yeah, I feel like there's quite a lot of exciting things coming up on the vlog. So we have obviously like packing that's going to start, um, moving house, of course. Um, we've got a trip to Scotland in there. Um, yeah, just it's just a nice, exciting few weeks coming up. A bit of chaos, I think, but good chaos um so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all either on wednesday but maybe just next sunday for another vlog um yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you all soon